These are teachers who know how to deal with students. We had a part one, we had a part two, and now let's look at some more. Right here on reaction time, students can be pretty disrespectful sometimes, and teachers, they don't want to take their energy and time to handle the students. So they found tricky ways to let their students know they're not to be messed with. It says, this test seems long, but it has a lot of pictures. One of the students draws almost free. And there is the exit. He's just trying to reach. Just so close. You're almost done. And when the teacher corrected it, she actually put, you shall not be Pass. You shall not pass! I love when teachers just trap you inside their classroom. They don't let you leave. Some of them don't even give you bathroom breaks. They give you like two passes for the whole semester. And this is this is a fine example. The teacher knows how to deal with the student. You can't leave class until the teacher says so. But sometimes teachers are cool. They're laid back. It says here, as a fill in the answer, impress me. The teacher wants to be impressed. A student writes, why? Okay, so the teacher corrected it and says, plus four points. Good. Always question the man. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a teacher that understands. Always question everything. You know what's funny? I had a teacher that would say that all the time. She would always say, always question everything. And then there was this one student that took it way too seriously. Every time she would say something, he would always question her. And, and she said, good, but I know this is correct for a fact. He's like, how? A student drew a picture to the top left of this homework assignment. It says, give me an A or the teddy bear gets it. Stick him up. Where's the teddy bear? Where's the... So as you guys can see in the picture, he's threatening to kill the teddy bear. No, no, Mr. Teddy. Well, the teacher gave the boy a C, not a... Wait, what does that mean? That means she drew the teddy bear as dead. Oh, no. You shouldn't have asked. You shouldn't have asked the teacher for a pen because this is what you got. You got a feather with ink. Are you serious right now? That's how you deal with students. Teachers always say, bring your pens to class. If you don't bring your pen, you're not going to get one. So instead, you get this, this old writing instrument. A math teacher got super annoyed and tired that her students wouldn't return her pencils. Students always ask teachers, hey, hey teacher, can I borrow a pencil? I forgot mine. She would always give them the pencils, but never got it back. Ever. So she's tired of it. You know what she did? She got pencils that says, I want to marry Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> and now every single time after a student is done with the pencil, they always return it to the teacher because what male student wants to carry a pencil that says, I want to marry Justin Bieber. Imagine your friend seeing that. Oh, this is brilliant. Good job. This is A plus for the teacher. Teacher one, student zero. So this teacher is actually a genius. That's why he's a genius. He had a fundraiser and for every $1 donation, a student got to get a piece of tape and put it on the teacher until the teacher was hung on the wall full of tape. Every single strip of tape is a one dollar donation to his fundraiser that's actually genius and actually hilarious at the same time like how is he getting off because he never said they had to let him go is he gonna be there for a month many months later oh the time is passing fast he's still there 75 years later he's still there he's getting old i can see the beer i can see the scruffs if you wanted to grade then he should have put your name on it it's okay so this science teacher hilariously put this r.i.p on the planets and guess what it is it's poor old let me guess it Pluto, that's right. No, Pluto. Cats are liquids. Liquids take the shape of a container while maintaining a constant volume. That's it. So cats are liquid. This is a teacher with a sense of humor. What, what kind of teacher would put this on the board for the class? I've had teachers that were always so grumpy. Occasionally, I had a teacher that would show something very funny. But uh, this is amazing. The teacher should get a medal. Best teacher award. Oh, they have those. A student wrote on an assignment on the back. I hope this wasn't as depressing to grade as it was to take it. And the teacher writes, well, it pretty much was. That is a perfect row. Some teachers, they just... They roll so well. This teacher made an open house menu. This is the funniest thing by far in this compilation. Check this out. This teacher charges to compliment students when the parents come in for open house. This is the menu pricing. Tell parents you are a pleasure to have in class. That will cost you $1, student. Tell parents you're always on time and a pleasure to have in class. $2. Tell parents you wish all my students were like you. $5. Tell parents that I hope my kids grow up to be like you. $7. Tell parents I would like to adopt you. $10. Which one will it be? Okay, that, that's an interesting way to make money. Obviously, the teacher would get fired if this was serious. I do not think this is serious. But some teachers are underpaid, actually. And this is a perfect example of getting some money on the side, you know, instead of going to the strip club. You got a different type of money on the side. Baller. Baller. Baller's life. A student posted a picture and said, My math teacher takes pie day very seriously. And guess what it is? That's right. He has a pie mustache and a pie beard. 
goatee. Oh my god, I cannot. <laughs> what is what is going on? Hello everybody. Unfortunately, I cannot be here today. So here is a picture of me looking professorial instead. Thank you, teacher. Where's it? Where's the substitute? That's funny. When I had a sub, every time the class would always play pranks on the sub. It was kind of messed up to be honest. I would hate to be a substitute. Everybody would say different names and sit in a different area that they weren't supposed to sit in and pretend like they were different names. Like I, I do not look like a Jerome, but my friends told me to say it. I, I didn't say it. And finally, a teacher caught one of the students cheating. That's right cheating zero out of ten cheaters never win so this student copied from the person to his right a c b c b d a d b c but they actually got it wrong because they put it on the wrong line all these answers were correct they were just put one line down instead of where it should have been b c b d a b c a Next time you copy the answer of your seatmate on the right number. Oh, you just got roasted. Cheaters never went down. This teacher is actually pretty savage. I mean, she automatically assumed that they cheated, but I'd feel pretty insulted if I didn't cheat and they assumed I cheated. But if it was that similar, maybe I did cheat. But guys, thank you so much for watching. These were teachers who know how to deal with students. Hope you enjoyed. Check out all the photos down below. First link in the description and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the second channel here. I'll see you guys soon. Hope you have a great one. Good luck with your teachers. Don't cheat. If you have some hilarious photos of your teachers, don't be afraid to send it to my Twitter. But I'll see you guys soon with some more episodes of Reaction Time. Have a good one, guys, and peace out.